Let me ask you about some particles. Okay. <laughs> First, the absurd question, almost like a, a question that like Plato would ask. What is the smallest thing in the universe? As far as we know, the, the um, fundamental particles out of which we build our most successful description of nature are points. They have zero, they have, don't have any internal structure. That's, they, uh, so that's as small as can be <laughs> to, uh, so what does that mean operationally? That means if you, that they obey equations that describe entities that are singular concentrations of energy, momentum, angular momentum, the things that particles have, but localized at individual points. Now, uh, that mathematical structure is only revealed partially in the world because to to process the wave function in a way that 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 accesses information about the precise position of things you have to apply a lot of energy and that's not you know we, that's an idealization that you can apply infinite amount of energy to determine a precise position but at the mathematical level uh, we build the world out of particles that are points. <laughs> so do they actually exist? And what are we talking about? So like- Oh, they exist. So, so let me they, ask sort of, uh, do quarks exist? Yes. <laughs> do <laughs> electrons exist? Yes. Do photons exist? Yes. But what does so, it mean for them to exist? Okay. So, well, the hard answer to that, the precise answer is that uh, we construct the world out of equations that contain entities that, uh, are reproducible that exist in vast numbers throughout the universe uh, that have definite properties of mass, spin, uh, and a few others that uh, we call electrons. And the, what, what an electron is is defined by the equations that it satisfies theoretically. And we find that there are many, many exemplars of that of of that entity in, in the physical world so in elect in the case of electrons we can you know isolate them and study them in individual ones in great detail and we can check that they are, all actually are identical uh and that's why chemistry works and yes so 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 that in that case uh it's very tangible Similarly with photons, you can study them individually, the, the units of light. Uh, and uh, nowadays it's very practical to study individual photons and determine their, uh, their spin and their other basic properties and, uh, the, uh, and check out the equations in great detail. For quarks and gluons, which are the other two main ingredients of uh, our model of matter that's so successful. Uh, it's a little more complicated because the quarks and gluons uh, that appear in our equations uh, don't appear directly as particles you can isolate and uh, study individually. They always occur uh, within uh, uh, bound, what are called bound states or structures like protons. A proton roughly speaking, is composed of three quarks and a lot of gluons. But we can detect them in a remarkably direct way, actually, nowadays. Whereas at relatively low energies, uh, the behavior of quarks is complicated. At high energies, they can, pro they can propagate through space relatively freely uh, for a while, and we can see their tracks. So uh, ultimately, they get recaptured into protons and other mesons and funny things. But for a short time, they propagate freely. And while that happens, we can take snapshots and see, see their manifestations. Uh, this is the, actually, this kind of thing is exactly what I got the Nobel Prize for, <laughs> predicting that this would work. And similarly for gluons, although you, you can't, uh, you can't, isolate them as individual particles and study them in the same way that we study electrons, say, uh, you can use them to as use them theoretically as entities out of which you 
build tangible description, uh, tangible things that we actually do observe. Uh, but also you can, uh, at accelerators at high energy, you can liberate them for brief periods of time and study how they, that, 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 and, and get convincing evidence that they, 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 they leave tracks and, and you can get convincing evidence that they were there and, and have the properties that, that we wanted them to have.